Hello, and uh, thank you, Reverend Jackson, for the opportunity to come and speak here today. Uh, so as everyone has already noted, uh, Africa is booming. There are, what, six, seven of the ten fastest growing economies in the, in the world, uh, 650 million mobile users, which is more than the U.S. and U.K. combined in the last five years. There's the youngest population, a billion people, 70% of which are under the age of 30, so tremendous opportunity. The continent is growing. Uh, so. In the recent months, we've seen issues with the fluctuation of uh, local currencies, volatility due to uh, decreased oil prices. And many people see this as a hindrance or a reason to avoid investing in, in Africa. But actually, this is an opportunity in that all of the governments, what we've been seeing across the board is all of the local governments have been encouraging uh, local infrastructural development. So Nigeria specifically, I was in Nigeria, what, three weeks ago, meeting with the Minister of Science and Technology, the Minister of ICT, the Minister of Wealth Creation and Employment, and there is a mandate to push forth the development of agriculture sector and financial technology or financial services. So we're seeing a huge push, um, money invested in the development, development of vocational skills and local training, which is very exciting. So uh, in, in order to create a better picture, I, I'll give a few case studies of the exciting uh, businesses that we've been working with. So my company, Ingressive, what we do is guide global capital to African entrepreneurs. So uh, we have a, a global network, a global database of about 2,000 investors who are interested and focused on African-based opportunities. And uh, to engage them, we lead semi-annual investor tours. We, we take uh, groups of investors. Last time we brought uh, the heads of tech stars, uh, 500 startups. Lipman Trust, uh, multi hundred million dollar funds specifically focused on venture capital. We take them to the continent, meet with ministers, co-investors, African leaders, and um, hundreds of tech founders, and then help them by providing the financing vehicles for them to invest. Uh, so some of the companies that we've been working with and focused on, I'll, I'll give an example, InterSwitch, which is, this year is looking to be the unicorn of Africa, and that means the first technology company to go IPO. Uh, they are a, if you're not familiar, they're a Nigerian-based uh, financial services company and they transact or they hold about 18 million of the 25 million credit cards that, that are currently operating in Nigeria. Now what's so exciting about the development of the technology <coughs> ecosystem and, and the growth of these sorts of companies is they reinvest their capital back into the local ecosystems and that's how you really develop technology ecosystems. So InterSwitch already has developed a $10 million fund that they're reinvesting strategically in local financial services uh, startups. Another one that we've been working with is Hello Tractor. They're an agriculture technology company. Uh, they manufacture small two-wheel tractors and then have an Uber-like platform for tractor financing and tractor sharing. It's really interesting looking at these burgeoning agriculture sectors and financial services sectors. Um, and the, the other thing to, that's interesting to note about the recent development of Africa is the leapfrogging. The ability for continents, countries, regions to go from 0% connectivity to 650 million mobile users, to go from no phones to smartphones. And also in, uh, in the oil and gas sector, seeing, seeing no, sec no security on pipelines, seeing uh, constant you know, breaks, leakages, things like that, to go to drone last mile delivery and drone security. So, so we are, of course, bullish on the technology sector and on Africa at large, and um, the opportunities are endless.